Hey guys, what's up? Today uh, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows XP on a virtual machine. So as you may know, Windows, uh, Microsoft has ended support for Windows XP a while ago. Uh, I really wanted to make this video a bit earlier, but uh, it's cool. It's, yeah, you know. So what you what you will need for this is installation for Windows XP and uh, virtual PC. You can download it from the links in the description. So go ahead install uh, Microsoft Virtual PC. Uh, when downloading, choose 32 or 64 bit depends on your system. Uh, as far as system requirements, you can read that on the Microsoft site. So once you install the uh, Microsoft Virtual PC, just hit new, create a new virtual machine, you will get this, hit next, create a virtual machine, next, uh, name it, XP. make sure the XP is selected, hit next. Uh, Windows XP will, will run on 128 megabytes of RAM and it will run slow, uh, depending on how much RAM you have. I'm gonna give it one gigabyte. Create a new hard disk, virtual one. Uh, it is by default saved on my documents, my virtual machine, Windows XP, Windows XP hard disk. Uh, set the size. Uh, and the 7 gigabytes approximately. Right. Yeah. And hit finish. Now, for I don't know what reason the uh, console of virtual PC does not want to show up, so I'm just gonna. Once you've created the virtual machine, you need to, of course, start it. So, if it responds. Once you get virtual PC running, uh, once you get the virtual PC running, hit CD and capture ISO image. Or if you do have a CD, an actual CD of the XP, you might need to use use physical drive, FG or whatever. Uh, since I don't really have it, I download it. Uh, hit capture ISO. Uh, <coughs> and you need to find it. I hear it. So just mount it and reboot the virtual PC. And the installation for Windows XP shall commence. Now, while the installation is starting and during the installation, I would like to answer some let's say frequently asked questions on my channel so as you may know i already have two tutorials similar to this including windows x uh, windows 95 and windows 98 just a second uh, a lot of questions that i have been getting uh, comments actually is to check and scan for viruses people i assure you that those discs are virus free, so don't don't worry, don't panic. I, if it's a virus, I'm gonna say it's a virus. Don't download it. I mean, do whatever you want, do whatever you want. Also, some people complain that the links that I gave don't work. Now, although that is possible, uh, my suggestions are try try a different browser maybe. Or well, if you don't, those those links don't work, you can free read, free. You can try some other downloads. Now, once the installation has uh, the setup has started, uh, hit C to partition the drive. Just a second, my sister is here. That the case of my sister. So in this menu here, you can select to either just have one partition of your hard drive or make you know two, maybe even three partitions. 
I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just gonna create one partition of seven gigabytes approximately. If you do want to make two partitions, just enter here the uh, value you want. Um, just you know, partition. Make sure you format both partitions. So I'm just gonna do this one. And this is unpartitioned. Just, just ignore this. And once you have selected the partition you want, where you want to install Windows XP, hit Enter. Uh, format using NTFS file system quick. Make sure it's quick, otherwise it will take a long, long time. Also, some people have been complaining about Windows 95. Uh, what's it called? Windows protection error. You need to restart your computer. That. Uh, That's because, well, consider that Windows 95 is, is almost 20 years old, and the computers then, uh, you know, didn't have really a lot of processing power. And once you have gotten to this menu, it will take some time to, to copy the files. It depends how fast your computer is. Uh, if you do get that, you might want to consider consider using doing some of these. If you have too much RAM, you know, like a gigabyte of RAM, it, that could be the problem. If you have too much hard drive, hard drive, you know, you made a too big virtual, virtual hard disk, you might want to consider, you know, taking a smaller one. Or the most common problem is go to uh, virtual PC, hit settings, and disable virtual uh, hard what are they called? Uh, disable this hardware virtual virtualization. Whatever. Make sure that is disabled if you get the protection error. Now I just have to wait till this is finished. I will mention if you are using a uh, actual CD of Windows XP, this process may take a bit longer. is uh, finished it will initialize the Windows XP configuration please uh, the virtual machine will reboot uh, do not press that ignore it Saw this in a long time. take some time but it's pretty much an automated process uh, I will mention that if the cursor does get catched so to speak and the virtual PC just hits the right alt to free it this here will ask you for name just like user or whatever you want uh, computer name That you can, if you want, you can put a password and you can skip that. Uh, if the virtual PC does get a bit laggy, that's normal. Almost there. So once it finished uh, the setup, it will reboot again and don't boot from CD or DVD. Just ignore it. If you do boot from if you do boot from the CD, you will have to do the whole thing again. So yeah. Oh, oh boy, do I do I miss that? So here it is, the 
final step of the setup. Yeah, blah blah blah. Not right now. Next. It's a bit slow because I'm recording, but. I will show you this later. Just skip this for now. As far as the installation, yeah, as far as installation goes, uh, you can, if you would like, you can install uh, virtual PC additions. You can do that by hitting the action action button and installing it. That's you uh, use for you know. Uh, file share file copy between the virtual PC and your host operating system uh, in some minor performance improvements so I will show you how to connect Windows XP to the internet so select Windows XP and the virtual PC and it settings Select networking. So I currently use the USB wireless LAN card, but uh, depending on what you actually use for the internet, Saying, select the adapter you use. I'm gonna select this one because I use the USB wireless LAN card and OK. And now uh, just up, you know, some final setup for installation. I'll pause this. And that's pretty much it as far as the installation of Windows XP goes. You can use it for you know running some programs that don't really run well with Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, or just you know to still remember Windows XP. I remember when I used it. That was I stopped using Windows XP oh, a long time ago. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know not one of my best tutorials, but whatever. Uh, if you have any problems, questions, suggestions, whatever, leave it in the comments. Uh, I will try to respond to them if I can. Uh, is that it? That is it. Goodbye. Be safe.